everyone, this is Jamie Sorensen here at Two Peas in a Bucket showing you the new arrivals in our warehouse. Congrats to Marty's Barn, you are our winning commenter from last week. A prize will be sent to you shortly. So I have a lot of new stuff to show you today. We're getting in new things every day after ordering them at the Craft and Happy Show. So let's get started by looking at the Prima products. Um, I think we got in close to like 500 products from them. There's a lot. And um, as you know, they are kind of known for their flowers, although they have a great range of different products. So we're going to start out looking at the flowers here. So pretty. These are nice, rich, deeper colors. 12 pieces in, in there. So they come in lots of different varieties where you get multiple packs, um, a variety of dimension. Here we have, these are the um, Floret Collection flowers. And the bottom set here even has a little newsprint pattern to it. Very pretty. Move down here. I'll show you some of the. This is the trinket collection flowers. Got lots of different um, layers and then some fabric brads in them that have a pattern in the center. All right, we also have um, these really pretty whisper collection flowers have just a variety of materials and styles in the way they've gathered the material. These are the um, Deshire Collection flowers. I love that color combination. Very pretty. I think you saw these um, if you watched our Crafton Hobby Show online social. We showed the new products, um, a sampling of the new products that our sponsors sent us. We saw some of these in them, which were very cool, and so excited to see them in the warehouse. Um, we also have these are the sugar bloom variety, and these have just a little touch of glitter on them. And these are really cool in that they have a little um, foiling on the edges. We move up here and show you some of the others. Just kind of pull out randomly. They have also the different vine series. Lots of little blossoms on the end here. And then um, they've come out with another cool range of, these are, have different styles on them, um, the sculpture flowers. Um, here's one in a cool set and a warm set. Gives you a nice range of size. And then um, we also have foam stamps in from them. And I want to show you how large the size is. These are a great, nice big size. You can put them on layouts as well as canvas or any altered projects. We also have a lot of ribbon here in all these different colors. And I pulled one out of the package so you can see. This is the rose ribbon. And this just gives you an idea of how thick the ribbon is kind of curled under there. It has a series of flowers on it. It's so pretty. I love um, how the little pieces have a scalloped cut edge to them. Okay, and then we also have in some metal embellishments. I'm just going to pull out a, f a few. This bin is almost already empty. We'll have to restock it. Um, but this has been popular, the little birdcage trinket. So these you can dangle from altered projects, do all kinds of fun things with them, create jewelry with them. Okay, so I'm going to show you some of the Prima paper, but first I want to also point out we got new Pebbles products in, and they have a few collections. This is the Ever After collection, showing you some of the embellishments, then we'll move on to the paper. Love all the detail in those little layered embellishments. These are the dimensional journaling stickers. 
the rhinestone pieces and the more some more dimensional stickers Let's have more just words and phrases and then they also have a bright fun colored collection called happy go lucky and these are the embellishments that coordinate with those a happy spring and summer collection these are cool these are the paper flowers and they have a nice little gem center and then more of the dimensional stickers with little glitter accenting they also came out with a wedding line that's very pretty. It has um, this cream, white, black, and silver color scheme. It's called Mr. and Mrs. A set of flowers, and then the dimensional stickers. And this paper is kind of a specialty paper. It's kind of got a shimmer to it. Kind of like a lot of the specialty cards you see when you're picking out a wedding card. Or maybe you make your own. <laughs> okay, so now let's move on to the paper. Okay, so in front of me here is the new American Crafts paper um, and Pebbles paper. We got a lot of it in this whole section down to the very end is American Crafts. So there is a lot and I want to make sure that you check out all of it. Um, I'm just going to show you a sampling of it today. So um, if you watched last week's video, you would have seen the Classics Collection, a great paper um, series based off of the Classics. Um, we also got in um, polka dotted patterned glitter paper. And this is just a really nice thick cardstock weight paper that um, comes in all different patterns and colors. There's a, a fun animal print one and this one is kind of different in that it doesn't have the tone on tone but it's got fun pink purple on pink I do have some variety of colors so there's polka dot there is the leopard print there's an, a zebra stripe also have a swirl and a basic stripe so these are cool, they come in all different colors. The glitter stays on, it doesn't come off. It's a nice glitter paper. And then I'll show you the collection that goes with the accents I showed you. Um, the Mr. and Mrs. Wedding Collection from Pebbles. It's called Wedding Floral Silver Finish. That one's Tool wedding dress so these papers some of the designs on them have a nice just kind of shimmer look um, kind of like the accents I had showed you so it it looks it looks luxurious it looks classic like you'd want a wedding to be Okay, so those are a few of the papers. I'm gonna move on now to um, Happy Go Lucky. This was that bright colored paper. The stripes on here have a varnish finish to them. They are double-sided with a nice strip of extra pattern on the border. These little flowers here have um, a varnish finish to them. It's a cute little subtle loop. This one is fun. There's a really subtle spiral floral and then a couple different colored flowers. This one has cute little birds with a varnish finish. Um, so lots of happy designs. I'm just going to pull out a few here so you can see. The polka dot is really great. Here's a nice little happy cloud paper. 
Okay, so as you can see, very happy designs. Um, they also have the Ever After collection, which was the, the girl collection with a fun um, kind of princess theme. These cute little roses along the bottom here. Got your crowns. And all different size crowns, little, or styles I should say, with little gemstones in the center. Some of these roses have a little bit of a glitter treatment to them. This one is fun. It's kind of a, a forest scene with deer and rabbits and butterflies and squirrels, all of your woodland creatures. Okay, so let's move on now to the Prima pattern paper. This whole section here is all Prima product. So there is a lot, and I'm going to show you first some of the um, sticker sheets that kind of give you an idea of what the collection um, looks like, an overview. So there's a collection called Botanical. And as you can see, it has lots of floral designs with different um, stamps and postage scripts. So these are the flat 12 by 12 stickers. They also have come in chipboard 12 by 12. This is the Jack and Jill Celebrate. I think, yeah, it's just Celebrate line. So they have the Jack and Jill characters in all of the different um, special occasions that you would celebrate, like holidays. <laughs> Um, and seasons. This is the Madeline collection. Love that pink and aqua. This is Melody, which we saw in our CHA video. I love that they bring in that warm gold. This is the Moulin Rouge. Very fancy. And this one is Reflections kind of like the botanical with a lot of nature themed, but um, very different still. This one is called Sparkling. It's birds, keys, florals. And then this one is it's the fairy collection. It's called Sweet Fairy. It's got this cute little doodled sketchy girl that you see throughout and then um, different wings different little fairies with wings. So Prima also has um, a great set of masks that they've come out with. These are in the 12 by 12 size. So you can get out your mists, paint, and different art supplies and use them with the masks to create your own um, custom backgrounds. Here's a corner one. Also comes in a circle. Okay, so let's show, I'll show you a few different patterns. Um, this one, these are from the Moulin Rouge. I love the deep, rich colors. And I think they did a great job conveying Moulin Rouge. Okay, um, I have a few also from the Reflections. This great butterfly and text collage -y kind of pattern with the ledger on the back. So this is the B side. Here you can see the color palette. That's a nice little key on the bottom of each pattern. Okay, this is the... Um, Madeline collection. It's that one that I mentioned, the pinks and the aquas. Turn this around. This is such a great pattern with all of the different butterflies and florals and a nice patchwork design. This is fun. They've broken up the pattern into a quadrant. Oops, don't want to put that in the wrong spot. Here's another pattern. Okay, all right, so I have here, we've moved on into the Melody collection. 
that deep rich pink and the warm golds, lots of silhouettes. Okay, um, at the bottom here we have Sparkling Spring, which is very soft, very pretty. Love that little doodle, I think that's fun and different. Gives you a nice frame, which Prima loves to do in their patterns. Here's that same doodle design, but a nice little strip of text throughout it. And I'll show you another pattern here. This one is called Meme. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that up. I might have pronounced that right. I might have made it up. <laughs> um, okay, so that was Sparkling Spring. Oh, the botanical one. Let's show you a few from here. Love that they've collaged different things like pairing together gears and birds. Stitch stamps and script. Just an overall sheet with all the different designs and Jack and Jill throughout. So you could definitely cut these out and piece them together how you like. There, here's an Easter one. And a Valentine's. They have all different occasions, even holiday. Um, and here we have the Sweet Fairy collection. There's that little doodled fairy in the corner and they've mixed a nice collage of doodles and florals as well. And here is a sheet full of fairies. Okay. Um, oh, actually, I have a few more things to show you. Um, these are the cool screen printed canvases. Here's one that comes in a heart. It looks like um, all of the artsy work has been done for you. You can do a lot of cool things. You could stitch on these, put it, make a series in your home of home decor. That was the single butterfly. This one has um, a series of butterflies on it. Very pretty. All right, so that's it for this week. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment on my two-piece blog for your chance to win um, a prize pack of product I've shown you today. And I'll see you next week.